Hello there, my name is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at changing pictures into 3D objects in um, Elements um, or using Elements in After Effects to create a 3D object. Um, so um, this is what's known, or a technique, what's known as black on white. Um, you saw, so what that basically means is the pictures you're looking for online or that you Google have to be black on white. Um, you can have sort of white on black, but I'll show you the similarities between the two um, and try and teach you guys how to do this. So first of all, obviously, you know, you want to open up your Google and then you want to type in black on white. Now, it all depends what you want. You can have black and white logos. So if I go logos um, and then click on images, let that open up. Um, or you can just without putting no low I put logs by accident sorry I do apologize let's just put black and white okay um, actually what we do guys we do white on black first black pictures so just type that in white in Google white on black pictures um, or you can say for instance you're trying to Google something um, and you know you could just put you know white on black so and so so and so whatever you want um for t to create in 3d okay so say for instance i wanted i don't know this picture here of the of superman okay now we need to make sure that obviously the edging is is crisp and it, it is a high quality image um uh, which this is so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to blow it up as, as as high resolution as i can i'm just going to save the image um to my desktop um, and I'll just save that now um, and I'll just shrink that okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a comp new composition um, you're gonna keep it the length that you basically want it but sort of like you know I'm gonna adjust my resolution or my uh, quality to say I don't know this one here no let's, let's go 720p let's go this one here I do okay Okay, so you've, you've started your new composition, and then all you're going to do is you're going to import the picture you just downloaded. So basically look for the picture, in my case it's on my desktop. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it into my comp like that. So that's my comp done. Now, what you're going to do is normally you'd use the mask tool to mask around it. Um, but there's a little trick in After Effects, and with the picture selected, you can go down to Auto Trace. So if you click on Auto Trace, it will basically bring this box up here, and that's basically what that's done is Auto Trace the whole picture, rather than me having to do it with the pen tool, blur, blur, blur. Now, not a lot of people know about that, but it's actually a quicker way of, of masking out um, um, your model or whatever you want to mask out. So keep, keep blur ticks, keep preview ticks so you can see it, and if it's set to alpha or red or green you want to make sure it's set to this luminance okay and then all you're doing is clicking OK like so and basically what that's done is that's masked the whole pitch out for you so if you look in it's pretty high you know pretty accurate it's not a lot that's wrong with it so we don't have to literally play around and fix with it okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new solid and we're gonna make it a comp size and what that's going to do is it's going to enable us to open up Elements 3D. So we can edit Video Copilot Elements. And then just down here, we're going to open up Custom Layer, Custom te te Text and Mask. And we're just going to look for our Superman or whatever picture you've added to your, um, that you want to make 3D and just click on it like so. <coughs> Excuse me. So that, once that's done, we're going to hit Scene Setup. And then all we're going to do is click extrude. And what that's done, as you can see, is giving me quite a nice 3D looking picture that I can use within my project. So, you know, you can sort of play around with this the same as you play around with text. So if we select the bevel, uh, we can expand the edges, you know, if we want. We can make the bevel um, a lot bigger if we want. Um, add more segments you know curves stuff like that if you look at the picture we're just playing around with it you know and you can basically do whatever you want want with it 
you know you can make the speckler look a lot more shiny obviously I've just been playing around with that so that's looking a bit deformed at the moment but obviously this is just to give you an example of what we're doing so we'll just bring that down and just bring it straight down bring the bevel size down and basically this, this basically will open up a whole load of possibilities um, for you um, within After Effects to add these sort of things to your project so obviously you can go to your presets and if you've got you know pro shaders and stuff like that you can you know you, you can add a texture to it All right so you can add an environment because obviously it's see-through like so um, and you could do some pretty amazing things with it you know you can change your environment lighting obviously same thing you would do if you was to create any sort of 3d objects within elements so once you've done that obviously what you would do is you would add that to your your project and what we do is because this is in the background we want to shut the picture off like that so that's not in the scene so now what we're going to do we're going to land new and create obviously a camera for that um, I'm going to make that uh, about 80 mil and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the camera hold C and then all we're going to do is obviously you know tr drag back on that but now what you can do is you can actually play around with this and have an awesome um, 3D piece of imagery um, within your video not only that obviously because it's see-through we can go file and we can import you know anything we want I haven't got a lot of pictures on this but um, I'll have a look see what I've got um, so for instance uh, we could probably I don't know add this one <laughs> for fun drop this down bang you've got you know you can add a background to your picture space here or you can do basically whatever you want with it now obviously what I said before you know this is white on black if you do black on white what will that do is that will put this in a box so if I just go to file and create a new project and try and show you what I mean okay if I go to create a new composition keep it the same and then import I think I've got a picture that's the opposite um, say for instance this as you can see it's white on black sorry black on white so this is black and it's put on white so it's very similar to it's very different to um, the the other style of picture it's the reverse so if I import that and then drop that into my comp okay and then make sure it's clicked layer and then auto trace that I'll show you exactly what it'll do okay so if I go to new solid this is just for my elements uh, effects video copilot elements obviously going to my custom layer custom text and mask Superman logo I want to do just shut off the Superman logo and go to my scene setup and then extrude it look what happens it's given me the complete the whole lot with the symbol inside because it's obviously it's the opposite color even though you know this has a very very nice effect you know you could, you know you could use this for a lot of things you know um, it's basically what it's done is totally reversed the process so obviously you're gonna get whatever background is in the picture so obviously for instance this is as you can see uh, white on black so obviously you're just gonna get this but if it was reversed you're gonna get the the surrounding area as well if that makes sense so um, obviously you can obviously play around with this yourself um, to um, you know get rid of this sort of background but obviously you know that's that 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 just entails you just playing around with it so I mean I could sort of you know extrude this out make this a lot more thicker um, you know I could get some bevel edges in there like so I could sort of drag that out if I wanted to you know probably go the whole way with that actually but it looked deformed um, you know the depth of the bevel you can make it a lot more deeper you know you could you know it's, it's entirely up to you how you want to um, play this but obviously you know if you had something like this you'd put this into your comp um, you'll create a layer new camera again uh, I'll go back to 80mm click OK 
but the possibilities are endless of you know what you can do because obviously there's there's so many pictures out there you know you could sort of make yourself a superman sort of startup if you wanted um possibilities are absolutely endless with what you can do um using this technique with various pictures off the internet um so yeah i mean i hope you found this useful um i know i've, I've found it useful i've been able to create some pretty cool things with it um and i'll see you again in the next video um so thank you guys for watching so much and i'll see you again bye